Hello viewers, PMK94 here, bringing you The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. So, yeah, um, in a previous video I mentioned I wasn't going to be doing this because of my memory card um, corrupting my save data. I'm using a different memory card, which I didn't think about until, um, until I was editing that Super Mario 64 video. So... I did a little bit of testing with this memory card. It doesn't seem to be crudding the save data. This LP can happen. So, let's jump right in here, shall we? I usually, not usually when I'm naming like when I'm naming my uh, when I'm naming the save file, I don't use the name Link. But for the sakes of the let's play, I'm going to go ahead and do so. Ugh. That was unintentional. Ha 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 ha. Don't mind me, that was for sneaking purposes. Okay, let's get started, shall we? In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long goes... Ah, didn't realize it was Deacon Tree talking. Shit. Long hive. <laughs> <laughs> the children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the Fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. Hello, Link. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. Hey, come on. Can Errol's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Yes. Yes, it can, Navi. Alright, what do you want? We 
suddenly woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Great. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Uh, okay. Sounds good to me. Alright, so finally we get control of stuff. Um, right off the bat, for those of you who haven't played before, there's not too much to do in Link's house here. Um, there's this thing over here. Side. I can't do that. Oh, wait, wait, can I run that? But you can do it in the house if you hit up on the C stick, or if you're on the, well, like, in the uh, Nintendo 64 version, original Ocarina of Time, if you hit the uh, top C button. Or, I don't really remember how the stuff on that worked in the original N64 controller. It's been a long time, but hit up on that, and you can change the camera angle inside certain buildings to be either overhead or follow Link at a, from a fixed position. Like that. And so we venture out into our home, the Kokiri Forest. And here comes some lady with green hair. Yahoo! Hi, Link! If I didn't turn the voice over all of those speech doubts, this is gonna get really awkward, not gonna lie. Okay, hi. Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Yep. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a Chuko Kiri, Link. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? Yep. It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Alright, well, since I see nothing stopping us, let's just go straight there, shall we? Looking at our map there, it's right over this way. Da 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 da. Okay, what's up? Why are you blocking me? Hey you, Mr. No Fairy. What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh! Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that voice for Mido, but... Point being, he's basically not gonna let us pass unless we have both a sword and a shield. As he just said. So we need to go get one. Ah. While well, I'm on my way to this place, I think I should mention, I want to do this LP, because, like, I've played through Ocarina of Time, of course, but I've never played through Master Quest. So this is sort of like a familiar game, but at the same time, different. Now, I've already played through the first dungeon, first Master Quest dungeon, which, it was an interesting challenge for the first dungeon, like, a lot different from what I remember, and, like, actually made me think, unlike the original, where it was pretty easy to get through, so... I like what they did. It's very interesting. And I also thought, usually when I look up Ocarina of Time stuff, I don't see too much about Master Quests, so I thought this would be something kind of different. I might be wrong, and there might be like dozens of Master Quest Let's Plays out there, but whatever. That's not the point. I wanted to do this because it's some fun. And it's Zelda! You can't go wrong with Zelda. Right? Right? And so, anyway, um... As, we, as you go past that boulder, you get the Kokiri Sword. The hidden treasure of the Kokiri. But we can borrow it for a while. Indefinitely. I'm sure to practice with it before I really fight, you say. Um, well, there's a perfectly good sign right next to me. I think that'd be a great place to start. Right. Right. Oh, no. There we go. I think I'm all practiced up. Oh! Ah. That boulder. I got hit by it on my quote-unquote practice file, too, which I can't really call it a practice file because it was back when I first tried to do, do this on the crutch file, so that's like, that's a while to go. And I know a bunch of other Let's Players seem to do so, but I probably won't be doing a separate practice file because I'm also experiencing this for the first time, so it's, well, sort of anyway, the dungeons I am because I have the Master Quest, but of course like I said, or play through Ocarina of Times. Ocarina of Times? Ocarina of Time a couple times before. 
Admittedly, I've only played through, played through it completely, like, maybe two or three times, unlike Majora's Mask, which I've played through a bunch, but... Yeah. Green of time. So anyway, if you're wondering what I'm doing, if you haven't played this game before, to get the shield, we need 40 rupees, which is the currency in Zelda games. Who doesn't know that? And if you don't, and you're not a fan of Zelda series, why would you even be watching this? I mean, it's possible, but why? So in these bushes, you can pick up rupees from time to time. Okay, so we have 23 right now. Uh, you. 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 No, okay, this isn't helping. Let's go... Actually, let me see. Uh, this Mido's house, Mido, whatever you want to call him. Mido's house. So since he's by the door, let's see if I can pillage his um, home here. What do we get? Five rupees. Get a green rupee. Another blue rupee. And what's in this one? Oh, a recovery heart. All right, we got a human heart. Okay, not gonna, not gonna do that. Okay, so we just need six more rupees. If you jump across this platform, you get five rupees, and if you go into and out of a building or something, you can do it again. Oh, hi, how's it going? Look over with A and talk to you now. So go back into a building, back out of the building, jump across again. Get five rupees each time you do that. As you might have seen out of the corner of, this, out of, the corner of your eye, um, there was another ruby up top of this thing, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that, even though I have more than enough rupees already. Just because, why not? I like to have money, and it can be useful. So, I'm going to grab this rupee. Hey, how's it going? Why are you up here? Hey, 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 you came all the way up here? You're a real man. Yes, I am. Look, isn't this view pretty? Change your viewpoint with that thing so you can look on the forest with that thing. So, funny story, when I was going on my quote-unquote practice file with this, I was talking to her, I was like, um, I picked up the rupee, I was directly to the side of her here, I started talking, but I fell off, just like that, yes! <laughs> uh, but the first time was completely accidental, but I, I was talking to her, I fell off, and I wound up down there in conversation, and it, it, it was funnier the first time because it was so unexpected, but yeah. Uh, so we have 49 rupees, that's 9 more than we need to buy a shield, so let's go buy it. Hey guy, how's it going? So if you look to the left, hmm, Deku Seeds. Pulls for a slingshot? I don't have a slingshot. Do we get a slingshot in this game? Arrows? A bow? Oh my god, am I, are we gonna get a bow in this game? See, I, I, I kind of like it how when you look at some of the items in shops, you get foreshadowing for future stuff you might get. But anyway, without further delay, let's get the Deku Shield. As you can also see up there, there's Deku Nuts and Deku Sticks. You could buy them here, but it's really a waste, because while you're in Kukiri Forest on the way to the Deku Tree... Well, you'll see. Uh, no sir, that'll be it. So... Now that we have the Kokiri Sword and the Deku Shield, which is made of wood, so if it catches on fire, it will burn into flames and become, well, gone. So now that we have both the Kokiri Sword and the Deku Shield, I meant to do a spin attack, but that didn't go so well. So in the next episode, we will go past this, um, unpleasant man here. I'm trying to avoid swearing. The next episode, we'll go past this unpleasant man here and see the Great Deku Tree. See you guys then.